Elephants are probably some of our most easily recognisable creatures. With their huge ears and elongated trunks, it's hard to confuse them with anything else. Their unique appearance has brought them many admirers, and their appeal extends far beyond their home range. Just in my hometown of London, you will see them represented in statues, murals, and even fencing. But despite their obvious popularity, I still believe that there's something about them that people always miss. That is, that they're absolutely weird. This is, of course, not because they are underrepresented or unknown, these are creatures that would be recognised almost universally. Instead, it is because of just how known they are. The fact that they are so well remembered has blinded us to their true odyssey, allowing them to fade into the background unacknowledged. Everyone knows what an elephant is, and because of that, we've forgotten quite how strange they really are. Elephants are odd. A hodgepodge of features seen across other species combined and exaggerated to the extreme. What we're talking about are massive, multi-ton mammals, their scale reaching that of dinosaurs. Among the mammalian kin on land, their size is only really approached by the ancient relatives of rhinos and sloths. They are huge not only by modern standards, but ancient ones as well. Forget your familiarity, and think. These are creatures with enormous incisors jutting from their mouths, like great arcs of bone. Where else in the animal kingdom would you find a tooth capable of growing larger than a person? Their faces are made only stranger by a proboscis extending from between their eyes. A fusion of nose and lip, forming a facial tentacle capable of the most delicate manipulations and with the strength to crush a man. People have lived alongside elephants for as long as there have been people, which may go some way to explaining why we see these titans as so normal. But if they were a long-lost lineage whose fossils were suddenly unearthed like those of the dinosaurs, would we truly be more shocked to see a Triceratops than an elephant? Now, some animals appear extraordinarily odd, but given the context of their relatives, seem almost sensible. Moles, for example, are undoubtedly strange near blind subterranean burrowers with a penchant for worms, but when your eyes are drawn towards the rustling undergrowth and their relatives, the Desmonds, their strangeness just makes a little more sense. With elephants, however, such exercises simply inspire more questions. For a look to their closest kin today will bring you only manatees and dugongs, the sirens of the sea. Even among their own, elephants stand out. You see, the elephant lineage is an ancient one, stretching back far into prehistory and it is a family that springs surprise after surprise. From the backwards tusk Dinotherium to the shovel-jawed Platybelodon, elephants are a group that has been strange for quite some time. Elephants, both modern and old, are odd by all accounts, and that is what makes them so wonderful. A lineage unique standing tall amongst the rest. Today there are only three, but before there were many more. Dinotherium and Mastodon, Scomphotheres and Stegodonts. From Paleoloxodon nomadicus, perhaps the largest mammal to ever walk the land, to the dwarf mammoths of Crete, standing only a metre tall. Their diversity today is greatly reduced, and that simply makes those that we have left all the more strange, and importantly, more special. And yet, they are at risk of being lost, of following the same path as their mammoth kin. 
with poaching and habitat destruction, their populations have dwindled, and with our species applying the same pressures to them that were so devastating to their relatives, without intervention, their story will only be repeated. Our elephants are unique, great survivors of an already odd lineage, and that their survival is the most valuable part of it all. Elephants have always been with us, but as their extensive list of extinct relatives dictates, that need not be the case. We may have grown used to these great behemoths, but it is time to recognise quite how unique they really are. If we do not, we risk them slowly fading from not only our minds, but also the landscapes they call home, resigned to join a list of amazing beasts that our children will never have the chance to meet. We are the ones with the power to decide their fate, so it is up to us to show just how special we really think they are.